Well, we are changing the tatami now from kata to kumite. Uh, Roberta Sodero will be coming back later to join us for the team kata. But at the moment, we have two new people. And I do say two new people because we have got the amazing Vicky Panatero with us and also her fiancé and the superstar of karate who is recently retired, Rene Schmoll. Welcome, guys. How are you? Hello. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here and with a company this time. Rene, you've made that transition from competitor to coach. Yes. How is that going for you? Uh, it's very different, but on the same way, it's also very uh, the same because I totally understand the athletes, what they want, and uh, it's, it's very nice to still be in the game, even though it's, you feel you have a little bit less control. You, know? you may be more stressed as a coach. But you've you got so much more stress because you are Vicky's coach. <laughs> I know. How is he working out, Vicky? Oh, it works perfect. He, he knows how it feels, you know, how uh, before, he knows how it is when you are fighting. It's so, so much difference when you have somebody as a coach who has been in that position. Yes, and, uh, yes. I really enjoyed it. Uh, so he knows the stresses, he knows how you're feeling. Exactly. But it must be difficult for you, Rene, sometimes when you think, oh, you want to be on the tatami and you want to, and you, and you can see what Vicky needs to do, but you can't do it yourself. I know, I know. You have to let it, yeah. let it go. You have to let it go, but luckily we're many times on the same line, but, so that makes it easy. Well, you two are the experts when it comes to Kumite. Uh, we've got some fantastic talent on the tatami now in the female minus 50 kilogram category. This is the match between Uzbekistan's Babieva and the current Karate One Grand winner from last season, Serap Oslik of Turkey. Both a lot of experience. Do you know the you know the fighters in particular, either of you? I I know um, uh, Sarap Ocelik. She's a karate star and uh, one of my favorites personally. And uh, she's I ha she has my respect because she's many years uh, in this sport and she always managed to be uh, on the top. So yeah, uh, she, yeah. She's amazing. And about the other girl, um, I've seen her, um, I've seen some of her fights. And I, I really got surprised, actually. She was really good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, Babeva uh, certainly is very good because she's just opening the score with a uh, Wazari two-point score after that video review challenge. Uh, no doubt, Sarah Oslik is going to come back into this match, though. She won't let... Uh, Babi ever get away with that without challenge. And talking of challenges, there's one now from the coach of uh, Serap Oslik. I think it was after the MA. Yes, so the coach will get the, get the back. card back. And that's difficult, isn't it, uh, Rene, to be able to decide when you're going to make that call as a coach? Yes, it's very difficult. Many times you will hope that one flag is at least going, so to, uh, to be sure. But it's always a risky thing because you have only one shot. Beautiful. That was a great headshot there from Serap Oslik. She's already won 11 Karate One Premier League. She, she won in Paris, Dubai, Rabat and Shanghai this year. She's really flying high. And she's got herself onto the scoreboard. She's still trailing by one Yuko and the Senchu that's being held by Babeva. And she's got a big experience. And that's very important in our sport. Yes, it is. And she won't, she won't panic. She's still got no. 1 minute 55 seconds to go. She's gone with the Jodan Zuki there, but it came in a bit late because Babieva also put in a Zuki of herself. There is a video challenge again from the coach of Oslik. Uh, he was right to call it the first time. You see the, the punch going in on the top right-hand screen. That, that was a pretty good view of it. And we see now there as the punch goes in. Yeah. Oh, um, ah, yeah, it was it too high? Because she she ducked low, didn't she? Babeva went in under the Zuki. So it's been rejected. It missed the target. Yes. But Babeva is very good with the counter. I've seen all fives yesterday. Back into the action. Babeva leading three points to one. That's her oblique. Oslik has got to open up. She's 
She got some good kicks though, hasn't she? Ah, oh, beautiful kicks, super fast. But um, it's really hard. Her name, <laughs> the Akaga, the Aka fighter, is uh, is using a very Babaeva. good uh, Babaya. Yeah, she she used the tatami very clever. She she actually, let's say, kind of destroying the fight. Yes. Of Ocelik. Well, her experience right now just there we did. <laughs> Ocelik comes over the top with that Yoranzuki. Bobby Eva just looking back at her coach. That's where you would be sitting, isn't it, Rene? Looking for the advice. Now, this, this is where, where you can get a lot of pressure. You, you know, you might be leading by one point, but now you're, you can feel the opponent coming at you, can't you? And uh, that, how is she going to manage this pressure? She's only 22 years old. Oslik, 31 years old, a great deal more experience, putting her under pressure in the corner, and there's still a minute, 10 seconds to go. Um, we have been having this conversation with Renee yesterday about that when you are uh, young, you actually don't have fear. You don't have, mm. you have nothing to lose. Ah, right. You have, uh, yeah, you have actually no fear because the more you grow up, the more you, you, you have, like, say, uh, a, a, a weight behind you of your medals, of your history, and y you are thinking too much. So you become, you can be frightened to lose, frightened yeah. to express yourself. Yes, fri I'm afraid to, to try things. This is why you see a lot of new people now. They're, they're like, oh, who? <laughs> Uh, who who are um, yeah who are these people and that they are these people are just are just trying everything because they just have no fear. Exactly. There's a, a little bit of attention required from the doctor for Babieva. She's taken a knock here. So in this in this downtime, so Rene, what what do you you use this opportunity? Sarah Bosley, she looked back at her coach. What 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 would you be saying now to Vicky, for example? this case I would be like okay uh, you know you know she wants to do the I do the counters so I would tell her like okay maybe try to trick so she will be starting and then uh, to do to, to uh, uh, make a feint of yes, an attack yes, and, yes. Yeah. and don't say too much <laughs> uh, no 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 quite no I'm, I'm uh, joking no but it, it, but it is important obviously you, you know you don't want to share all your secrets but just kind of generalize yes. rather than sp specific I think is 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 fair I'm just kidding. It's always no. nice <laughs> to have these moments to talk. And, uh, and, and it's part of the instruction to the athlete to, when that downtime comes, is to look at you and to receive instruction rather than just to, you know, wonder what's going on. Because there's not a, a great deal in these moments for the coach to have much of an influence because you're quite away from the action, aren't you? Yeah. And we do it sometimes in three different languages. We use Dutch, <laughs> do you? and Greek. Yeah, oh we do. <laughs> but that's a and part of our... But our not our Japanese, because everybody <laughs> knows Japanese in karate. Oh, well, actually, we do also use some Japanese. You know, Kizami, <laughs> international. <laughs> so, okay. One more score for... Uh, and here, yeah, see now, set up Oslak. Uh, she's sneaking back in now. She's pulled another point. She's leveled the score 3 3. The only difference is the century that's still being held by Babieva with 22 seconds on the clock. Yeah! Babieva trying to use the counter punch, losing the pad in the process. So Babieva is now under a great deal of psychological pressure, isn't she? She's only got the century difference. She knows that Sarah Bosnick is coming at her all the time, isn't she? Video review yes. challenge. And she's not allowed to lose their sensu now. Because if she does lose the sensu, exactly. then the uh, referees have to vote. And that's a big risk because I think that, uh, as I've seen, uh, Sarah Bosnick has been pressing a lot in the entire fight to change the score. So the odds... And so, uh, Rene, in that situation, uh, was that a tactical call for the card yes. to take away a little bit of the pressure? Also, to have some beef. People go on flash. She's attacking her. Oh, she managed yeah. that last situation quite well there, didn't she? Wow. Certainly well enough to take the gold medal away from the amazing Sarah Bosley. The grand winner from last year and the grand winner from this year. Wow, she really, uh, she was really clever, really clever. 
the way she managed to continue what to I bring that concentration back again if I, yeah, with all the respect, what I would have, for example, if I was a coach, what I would have said to uh, my athlete, for example, Otelik, I would have told her to go with uh, for Yuko because she really tried to kick in the last second. But she didn't and need it, did she? No. She didn't need a big, yes. a big score. And she's amazing with her uh, grab punch. She's amazing yeah, with Chudan, Yakuzuki. So she could have, she could have done it. But, you know, if you are outside, easy to say. Oh, <laughs> yes. Inside is yes. different. It is. And it's so, go the time goes so fast that you need to make so fast a decision. So, uh, Chance to have a look at uh, some of the action. There was a fabulous Jordan Zuki there from Oslik.